I'd like to note that the information presented in this video is intended purely for educational purposes. While I aim to share knowledge, I neither endorse nor promote the content, and it should not be construed as financial advice. Always conduct your own research and consult with a professional before making any financial decisions. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving deep into the world of central bank digital currency, or CBDC, and its potential to reshape the future of finance. Before we get started, if you find topics like this intriguing, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Let's jump right in. Central bank digital currency, often referred to as CBDC, is rapidly emerging as a transformative force in the financial realm. Unlike cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which operate in a decentralized manner, CBDC is a digital counterpart of a country's traditional fiat currency and is fully under the control of its central bank. Diving deeper, CBDC isn't just a digital currency, it's a universally accessible and secure digital payment system. Its design aims to be inclusive, meaning that anyone with a simple smartphone or digital wallet can access and use it. This feature is especially significant as it promotes financial inclusion, bridging the gap for those who have been left out of the traditional banking system. The concept of CBDC isn't entirely new. Its roots trace back to the aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis. While the crisis led to the birth of decentralized cryptocurrencies, CBDC is seen as a middle ground, combining the digital benefits of cryptocurrencies with the stability and trust of conventional fiat currencies. It's worth noting that countries like China, Sweden, and the Bahamas are already pioneering this space, running real-world tests with CBDCs. One of the standout advantages of CBDC is its potential to revolutionize financial transactions. Imagine a world where cross-border payments are as swift and straightforward as sending an email. CBDC can make this a reality by reducing the need for intermediaries, thus facilitating faster and more cost-effective transactions. Additionally, CBDC can be a game-changer for the unbanked populations, offering them a secure digital payment alternative to cash. Behind the scenes, the technology powering CBDC is robust. Blockchain, known for its security and transparency, is a likely foundation. This technology ensures that every transaction is transparent, secure, and resistant to tampering. Coupled with advanced digital identity verification methods, like biometrics and encryption, users can be assured of both security and privacy. However, the journey of CBDC isn't without challenges. Cybersecurity remains a top concern. The digital nature of CBDC makes it a potential target for cyber threats. Additionally, there's the question of how CBDC will fit alongside the traditional banking system. Its introduction could redefine how people store and transact money, potentially disrupting established banking norms. Looking ahead, the global interest in CBDC is undeniable. Central banks from different corners of the world are exploring its potential, benefits, and challenges. If widely adopted, CBDC could enhance financial inclusion, facilitate smoother international trade, and even alter the dynamics of the global financial system. In conclusion, the world stands on the cusp of a financial revolution with CBDC. As we navigate its potential and challenges, it's evident that CBDC could redefine how we perceive money, transactions, and the broader global economy. <laughs>